Talk to us a little bit about how your diagnosis came about specifically, but what I'm really trying to get at is how do you know, you know, how do you come to know, how does someone else come to know that it is social anxiety? And then give us some ideas on the best chances of managing it in a healthy way. I think the way to diagnose social anxiety is if, you know, it sounds quite obvious, but if you struggle in social interactions and it can be at school, it could be you really struggle speaking loud in class, if you struggle speaking to the teacher, if you struggle working in groups, but also even if you know you find it difficult going to events outside of school with people you know, even now my closest friends know that for the first five minutes when I arrive somewhere, you know, for dinner and I've known these people all my life, I'm like, can you just give me a few minutes because this is weird. <laughs> yes. So it's like it's, it's little quirks like that where you feel uncomfortable being observed, even though you know, gosh, you know, they're not looking at me and thinking, you know, I've got better things to do with the time. It doesn't work like that. It's an irrational disorder. Mm. So if you feel uncomfortable to the point where you can't kind of relax into it in social situations, then you might want to think about having a chat with someone. Right, right. Because I would say, you know, social interactions with people you like is not an effort. So if it is an effort to you, you know, that's not what we want and it shouldn't be that way. So you yeah. might want to think about it. doctor. That, that makes a lot of sense. 